the next generation of court programming in one dynamic network. Justice Central. Justice with Judge Maybelline will be life because in everything we do, it involves the law. Where is your witness? In the evidence. That's hearsay. It's notarized. I still say it's hearsay. She's fair. You gotta help these young men learn how to do this the right way. Yes, Your Honor. She's firm. Can I say something, Your Honor? No, okay. I don't need to say anything else. She's honest. I'm not your child and I'm not your friend. That's the order of the court. Goodbye. This is Justice with Judge Maybelline. All rise. Court is now in session with the Honorable Judge Maybelline presiding. Both parties, raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. I do. Your Honor. Thank you, Will. You may be seated. This is the matter of Hazel Levine versus Noah Duran. Duran, yes. And you're suing him for $588? Correct. Uh, I understand that you're alleging that he catfished you or you catfished him. Somebody catfished somebody. Tell me about the catfish. So I live in San Francisco and uh, I have been on dating apps for quite a while and I've been struggling to meet somebody that I truly connect with. So I brought in my horizons and I put my location on my dating app to the whole country and I met this amazing man. Uh, Noah, who I thought was going to be the one, and we'd been talking for months at a time. It's truly unbelievable to meet somebody like that in this day and age. And what was so amazing about it? We just had such a good connection. We had the same type of music. We liked the same hobbies. We just had that back and forth communication that I haven't found with anybody. And for a woman like me, it's a bit harder to find someone in my age group. Um, What's a woman like you? What does that mean? Well, I'm a bit older and I've been working a lot, so it's hard to kind of go out and meet people these days. How old are you? 36. That's called a bit older these days? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. In this dating age, yes. Really? Anything That's called a bit older? Anything over 25, I oh find my God. on dating apps, it's very difficult to connect with, with people. So I should get off? Perhaps. No hope? <laughs> Over 25? Maybe you're a lucky one, but I struggle. Oh, wow, you yeah. just, ooh. All right, but so you felt real lucky having met this young man at your age and yeah. given your prior history, huh? Exactly. And he lived in another state? He lives in New York, yeah. Oh. And, where, and you're in San Francisco? San Francisco. All right. So how did you guys hook up? Well, after months of communicating, I finally decided we need to meet each other in person and I wanted to take things further, so I said, suggested we book a trip to meet up in Miami, a nice little vacation, something in the hot sun, we could enjoy, you know, the outdoors. So I booked this beautiful resort, and he agreed that he was going to pay a half of the resort fees. Your Honor, I have some evidence here if you'd okay. like to see. So he agreed to pay half of the cost of the resort fee? Yes. Okay. We decided to meet up. I booked the flights. He booked his flights. And we met each other at the resort. And I was so excited. My heart was racing out of my chest to meet the man wow. of my dreams. You can imagine that feeling after months. Well, it's been a long time since I've had that feeling. <laughs> so you're right. It's purely an imagination on my part these right. days. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> OK, go on. Um, and so I was standing there in the lobby and in walked Noah and I saw him and I was just amazed that this is the man of my dreams and unfortunately he... You guys had, ever, had you ever exchanged pictures? So I had sent him some photos and he'd sent me some photos back. Okay, so you already knew he was a man of your dreams in terms of looks, right? Right, and in person it was even more accurate. Really? What so. was more accurate in person? Just seeing him because, you know, I didn't expect to, him to look as good as he did. And, Whoa! Um, <laughs> you blew that woman's mind. Did you know that? <laughs> Your Honor, there's a lot I'd like to tell you on my side. What happened? Let me hear your side. We were talking um, through the app and we were texting and, like she said, we had a common interest in music and hobbies such as going to the gym, bike riding, things of that nature. 
We did agree to go to the Miami Resort. It thought it was a perfect introduction for the two of us. It seemed like a perfect getaway. She got there 15, 20 minutes earlier than I did. We paced around. Oh, I paced around, excuse me. I walked back and forth. I couldn't see her. I couldn't find her. As what? a matter of fact, she approached me. She touched my shoulder and claimed she was Hazel. Okay, you, you better see, show me the profile you yes, saw. Yes, please. I have some uh, evidence, if I may. So you didn't know it was the same person? I did not, no. You didn't recognize her? I could not recognize her in the slightest. As you can tell from those four photos, she is not the person on my right. She looks a lot older, Your Honor. She looks a lot older in person? In person, yes. She originally told me she was close to my age, 25. Uh-oh. Did you tell that little tale? Your Honor, I did. Coming up on Justice with Judge Maybelline. Why are you telling me we're 25? Like I mentioned earlier, it's really difficult for a woman in my age group to meet somebody like Noah. And so I felt the need to... Why are you looking for a 22-year-old? And later... And you convinced her because of that, since she used more space, she should pay more. Correct. I thought it was because she made more money. Justice with Judge Maybelline. If you'll be in the Los Angeles area and want to bring your case to court, you're watching Justice with Judge Maybelline. We're back with the case of Hazel Levine, who is suing Noah Duran for travel expenses. Why are you telling me we're 25? Like I mentioned earlier, it's really difficult for a woman in my age group to meet somebody like Noah, and so I felt the need to... Why are you looking for a 22-year-old? <laughs> it wasn't really about the age, Your Honor. It was more the connection. And for me, I mean, people edit their photos all day long, so it's... Well, what, what were you going to do when he found out your true age? Well, Your Honor, I believe he lied about his age as well. You believe? Do you know? He did mention to me in conversation that he was 25, so he also lied about his age. 25, 22 versus 36, and 22 is a big difference. Those numbers are real huge. Yeah. And I'd like to point out that though we've been talking for months of communication, sending photos and music, every time that I tried to video chat or FaceTime, a simple call within those four months, three months, the connection was bad. There was always some sort of excuse as to why she couldn't. So you were never able to see her face? Not through a video call or anything of that nature. Is that true? Your Honor, I was, the times that we organized a call, it was always either me working, I worked very hard, and also my signal was never quite good. My Wi-Fi was always disjointed. Ooh, that just sounds so lame to me. <laughs> I, I, I hate to say it, but that, that just sounds real lame. Every time the Wi-Fi or you were working, so why would you organize a call during your working hours? I just wanted a chance. I just wanted a chance at so finding you had, out. So you had a little feeling that if I show him my face, it may change the situation too, right? Slightly, yeah. So you catfished him, is that what that's called? I believe that's what they call and it. And you realized what you were doing. You yes. said, I wait on this one, right? I won't lay all my cards out. Correct. Mm -hmm. So when you saw her after she tapped you on the shoulder, how did you feel? I was stunned. I thought that we did have a deep connection. She's still beautiful. She didn't look like the photos. I confronted her that time we were in the lobby. Oh. I was so irate that I actually went to the receptionist and asked if there was at all a chance we can get a refund. And they denied it. They said that since everything was paid for in advance, we couldn't do any refund. But it was but a big But you said joke. you guys had a lot in common when you talked on the phone. You had a lot in common. You like to do similar things. So what created the problem? Just the numbers? Forgive me, it, maybe it's my own paranoia, but I just felt like if she wasn't truthful from the beginning, deliberately hiding her face via video call, what else could she be lying about? Maybe mm. she was just trying to pique my own interest about music and the love for the gym. I, maybe it's my own paranoia, but I did not want to risk it with someone like that. Well, my father used to say to us, if you lie, you will steal. No, if you lie, you'll cheat. If you cheat, you'll steal. Something like that. But anyway, he just... <laughs> he was real big on liars and taught us that if you lie about one thing, you'll lie about another thing. And when does the lie stop? There are so many people that look differently than how they present themselves on social media. And 
Facebook and all these different so ways. So because other people lie and present themselves wrong and people take it, you think he's supposed to do it too? Well, I think our connection was strong enough to bypass all of that other nonsense. Strong enough for you to bypass all of the age factors, not strong enough for him. That's yeah. why relationships take two people. Right. For him, it says something about your character. And I don't think he, you're not saying that she's ugly, right? No. You're not saying that she's not beautiful. She's just not who I thought. Well, Your Honor, I was extremely embarrassed in the situation that I was put in by Noah. We uh, stood at the counter at the resort in I'm the, sure the reception. I'm sure terribly embarrassed because I'm embarrassed for you. I'm feeling hurt myself. Because that, I mean, that can be, yeah, that's disappointing. And then for him to stand there and say, can we cancel this reservation? I don't yes. want to be here. Yeah. That is terribly embarrassing. And then on top of that, he decided to leave. So he didn't even stay for What did you expect him to do? The duration what, what, what do you the think trip? would have been the appropriate response? I would say he could have had another room. We could have gotten separate rooms and then gotten to know each other maybe at the, the bar downstairs. He didn't want to get to know you. So I, why would he waste his time doing that? But then his, I was, his attitude was you lied to me. Right. I don't want to be bothered with you not one more minute. Then I was stuck with the bill and I had to pay for the entire trip. No, you paid for the resort because each of you paid your own airfare. Yeah. That's what you said. Correct. And you agreed to split the fee. Right. And I don't understand. I mean, men like women younger than them as a general rule. Mm. It's so sexist. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, but you're already aware of that. That's why you said you were 25. Right. So I can't make somebody pay you when you deceived him and you were dishonest and not truthful. So I can't order him to pay for a lie. Judgment for the defendant. Judge Maybelline has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been denied. You know what? I don't even want to be with someone as vain as you anyway. And I'm glad that this happened because okay. it worked out for the best. I think so too. Coming up. A few weeks after graduation, <sighs> you broke up. Yes. What's your take on it? I think it's Are you dating his boo? Justice with Judge Maybelline.